Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just taking a quick look at how we use the Garmin Messenger app on a mobile phone to send messages to friends and family when you're using a Garmin in-reach device with the Messenger app. So I'm just going to open up the Messenger app that I've already got on my phone. And where this app really comes into its own, if you've got a compatible device such as a Garmin in-reach Messenger, mini 2 where you don't really have a screen with buttons um, to type long messages it's not as easy because you haven't got a keypad like some of the bigger gps devices what you can do when you want to send a message using the satellites with your phone paired with a messenger app which i've got here we can actually use the keypad of your phone to send the message you can also use the messenger app with things like the gps map 66i 67i also the montana in reach series the 700i and the 750i but often it gets used with the messenger device and the inreach mini 2. if i touch on devices in the bottom right of the screen it shows that i've got it paired with my gps map 67i even shows you the battery life of my device and tells you what package i'm on the safety package i've got nine messages remaining we can actually initiate an sos from the phone here if i touch on sos if i was to slide that to the right the red tab at the bottom that would initiate an sos from the app what we're going to look at today is how we actually send a message so i've got it paired with my 67i so if i was outside with a good satellite signal on my gps device but had no mobile signal when i go on to messages i can select the little pencil tab at the bottom and then where it's got two i can hit the plus symbol and i can look for any contacts that i've already added to my inreach contacts or just system contacts off my phone and scroll down and find a contact if you've already sent something to someone you'll see in the suggested messages underneath um well, i've got the suggested tab sorry it's actually showed me someone that i've already sent a couple of messages to so i can also select that way and now i've got that tab at the top where it says two we've actually selected someone to send a message to you can see here i've already sent two messages to this person the very first one where it says all okay because it doesn't have satellite message above it that means i did have mobile signal at the time when i sent it so it doesn't come off my satellite message allowance but where it says at campsite now the next message down and it actually says satellite message that's telling me I didn't have mobile signal and it was sent by the Iridium satellite message system. So all I simply do to send the message is type in where it says start message. So I can just say everything okay. So it's just easier than typing on the smaller screens that you get on the smaller units. Now, if I don't want the person to see my location, that little teardrop symbol that I've just touched on to the left of the speech bubble has now got a cross through it. So the location wouldn't be sent if i want the person to get my location i'll just tap on that again so now message locations on and the little teardrop symbol to the left of the message bubble hasn't got the line through it and i simply hit the arrowhead to the right of the um everything is okay and that will send the message now at the moment i'm actually inside and i have got mobile signal on my phone so that's went through straight away but if i was outside where i'd need a satellite signal um a view of the sky with my gps device if i didn't have a mobile signal i would then see it going through as a satellite message and then any replies of the person who's receiving it does need the Garmin Messenger app to be able to reply back. So make sure your friends and family have got the Messenger app that you're going to send messages to, then they can reply back to you um, on the app. What I can do if I go back to device tab at the bottom right, what would happen now, my GPS device would listen for 10 minutes for a reply. This is if I didn't have a mobile signal. It would listen for 10 minutes and then it wouldn't listen again unless I had tracking on um, whatever your tracking interval is or would wait an hour. But if you want to check to see, you know, say 10 minutes it went by, it could be 20 minutes, half an hour, and you maybe haven't got tracking on, you can from the devices tab here, touch on message check and that will manually check to see if there's any replies waiting to come through via the satellites but the nice thing is once you've actually sent a message from the message tab your device will listen for 10 minutes after sending it for reply the idea of it not listening all the time is to save battery on your device but like i said it will when you get to an hour mark 
listen again for messages but the manual way you can check is by simply touching on device and touching on message check so hope you found this video useful on just a simple way of using the Garmin Messenger app. Once you've got it paired with your compatible inReach device, how you type messages and send them to friends and family. Just remember when you do get replies back from friends and family who are using the Messenger app, if you have no mobile signal, so that reply, reply will come back via the satellites, that will come off your message allowance. And thanks for watching.